Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be, Flyers. Kenny is here, episode 126 of SkyDude. Today, well, Microsoft official is, uh, is doing a Twitch stream on Tuesdays, which they're calling Tube, Tube Liner. Tube Liner Tuesday. And I might start joining in on the Tube Liner Tuesday streams. They're going to start up again next week on Twitch. And uh, I said yesterday I wanted to get back into the A320 or the airliners and start doing some of that anyway. I don't, you know, if you, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? And I haven't done any airliner flying in a while, so I wanted to do some today. Okay. We are at um, LROP in Romania, the home of where the very first jet engine or prototype for a jet engine was created this place is famous for the the man that started modifying propeller planes to use compressed air blah 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 and this is the home of the very very first prototype for a jet engine or at least that's what the that's what the audio tour has been telling us okay so some things I need to do here to get us set up today. Now, forgive me too. I might go through all of this and um, I might go through all of my setup here at the airport cold and dark and it might uh, it might fail on me. I've been having a bug where I, if I start cold and dark, then the plane won't move and I have to just go back to the main menu and respawn. At the runway. Either way, I want to go through the cold and dark setup procedures. But first things we need to do, we need to go to um, NeoFly and set us up. We got to move our pilot over here. We were at a small, small little airport yesterday, a little landing strip, very small. Came in for a fast landing. Didn't I mean we, it, we landed? It wasn't great, <laughs> but we did manage to get down okay and didn't cause any damage to the hull or engine or anything like that okay so you can see here when you get uh when you just in in neofly when you choose to do freelance okay it recognizes what you have here and it says we have the airbus a320 test pilot okay so now i want to try to find us a job and let's see what we have that one takes us back into romania uh, that's cargo delivery. Here is an airline flight which takes us to back to Bucharest. That, that's where we are. Oh yeah, no, we're in Bucharest. This is going to take us towards ooh the Thracian Sea. Places we've never been before. I've never been in Europe before. I've never flown Europe before. These this is all new to me. Uh, I wish we could filter these by. Who's paying the most? Now, you might notice here these fees that we're going to get paid in the uh, Neofly are really small. And you may ask yourself, why are they so small? Uh, it's because in a case where you're doing a freelance job, you can fly whatever you want, but you don't own the plane. You're not renting the plane. You're just being hired as a pilot. Simple as that. Okay. So you're not going to make a whole lot of money on the freelance Flights, but again, you get to fly whatever you want. If you want to mix it up like today. Okay, so this one here is 4,700. And out of all these, this one is the one that pays the most. So let's find out where that one's going. Okay, this one's going to take us all the way back to Slovakia. Do, 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 do. I kind of like that one that was taking us down towards Macedonia. Look through some of these other ones. Where's that one going? Woo. Taking us out to the Black Sea. Back to Slovakia. There's where all the crap's going down. There's Kiev. Eve. Yeah, why not? Maybe not. Maybe why not? Uh, actually, that's the one that's paying the most. 
taking us into Ukraine. Well, I wanted to get us up there anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this one. Let's see see what we get here, okay? All right, so bring your passengers to UKBI. Aircraft must take off by 1420. We kind of have to hustle. All right, so we'll go ahead and set us up for that. This is the final boarding call for passengers. Please proceed to gate 3 immediately. Okay. The final checks are being completed and the captain will order for the doors of the aircraft to close in approximately 5 minutes time. Okay. Um, well, first thing we probably do is... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. As you find your seat, may we request that you please mm -mm 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 -mm. close the compartments and smaller sized belongings, including duty fee bags and liquids, under the seat in front of you. Our cabin crew are available to assist. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your attention. I have forgotten how to do everything. But the battery switches I thought were on. Okay, so they are on now. All right, so here. All right, we look a little bit far out there, but tells us we're spot on and it should line up the uh there we go. No, I knew we were out of place. So they're gonna have to jump. It is Romania. Uh, maybe they're very athletic people, um, but I knew I, I had a feeling we were a little bit too far away for that. All right, while we're also out here, we're going to need an external, an external power supply. And he's right there, so they'll just attach the jumper cables, basically. And there's the cable hookup. Okay, so we've got an external power supply. Let's get our uh, catering going. Oh my, I've got to reverse these buttons. That's driving me mad. Okay, so there's our catering truck. Let's get our baggage going. There's baggage. Okay. Now let's get back in the cockpit and see if we can remember how to start this bird up. Okay, external power, it's on. Battery switches. And right there, on. The external power, we're going to have some beeping because we have the door open for a moment. Okay, so external power. It is on. Engine generators. We want those on fault displayed, and fault is displayed. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of our uh, jetway connection so that we don't have to hear the beeping. Okay, so the uh, the fault uh, the engines are on, the generators are on. We've got uh, Gen One and Gen Two default. The bleed air switches. Be right below that. Engine bleed switches. Hello. They're right there. Where aren't they toggling? Do 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 do. Anybody have to listen to George Strait? Okay, engine. Lead air switches on. Okay, so they're already on. There's engine. There's engine bleed two, engine bleed one. But if you click on them, you'll see that they're all they are already on.
Got a George Strait song. You know when songs are stuck in your head? I've got to... Uh, I'm to expect that from you. In my, uh, in my head. Okay. The APU Master. Directly below us right there. Right, turn that on. Usually have to wait for that. We want to wait for available to turn on this one. If you start. Now we need to turn it on and wait for available. Before we turn on. If you bleed. Do. It usually takes 30 seconds or so. If I've done it right. Did it, did it click? Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, so it goes to blank. Starting off slow, I do have the uh, fly-by-wire A320, the fully functional one. But we're working our way back up to something like that. Okay, I don't know why we haven't got our available. You master. Yeah, that's on. Keeps going to off. Do, 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 do. Okay, APU bleed on. Normally we don't turn that on until this one's on. And I don't know why we're not getting this one as available. It keeps going off. Maybe because external power is on? I, I don't know. That's probably it. Okay, let's turn the external power off. Try this now. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with you. We've never had that problem before. All right, why? What, 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 what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, hello, Henny. Good afternoon. <coughs> I'm over here trying to get this A320 to start. And the, um, this, the APU starter doesn't want to start. It keeps going off. And I can't figure out why. External power is off now. Go and disconnect the external power. Odapini ground, Kinias two one. I am done with power. I am done with power. We are. Still don't know why we're not getting it. See if we can force it. On if available. I want APU start. Auto complete. APU start. See if it'll work for them. That's so strange. I've never had 
the APU start stalling me. If we can force it to finish. No, we still don't have it. That's odd. Uh, we didn't miss anything up above. Okay, let's take it from the top here. Let's make it do an autocomplete page. Well, the next thing is the fuel switches. Let's see, beacon. That's down here. Turn the beacon on. Fuel pumps up here. All of these. Internal power off, fuel pumps on, beacon on. Okay. So we'll go to the top and see if it can... Run through everything. Keep an eye on that APU. Yeah, we may have missed something. We'll watch it for another 30 seconds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we did get it. Why that page is up here, I don't know. That's weird. Ah, there's one of the... Uh, the com page is open. That's strange. It's defaulted open. It's not even open on my screen. All right, so we've gone through the... Uh, Forgive me, sorry about that. I need to set this thing back up for auto scene switcher. When I'm trying to use things like this map over here, um, for bush talk, do to do, do, do auto scene switcher. Is too aggressive. So I can't I can't mess around in here. And show you things every time I click in here it immediately switches back so it's one of those it's either on or it's off or it causes problems okay all right well I'm, I am deeply sorry about that as always okay so it looks like everything is all right here okay so now we go up to the checklist again and we'll go to starting engine rust levels to idle Okay, we need this switch down here in the start mode. Why they start Master Engine 2 first, I don't know. And then we start Master Engine 1, and then we'll, we'll confirm that they are stabilized. Now, I was saying too, when, you, uh, when I first came in, that I still may have a bug where... If I start cold and dark from the uh, from here from the um, terminal, sometimes you're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Sometimes after uh, sometimes after uh, going through all the startup, she doesn't want to move. In which case, I'll have to go back to the main menu. I'm, I haven't quite worked out that bug. It's, it happens a lot in the in the uh, caravan. Okay. Okay, now we go back to the cockpit, turn off the APU bleed, and turn off the master switch. Engine toggle mode. Back to normal. Take our engine status. Everything looks fine and stabilized. Okay. All right. Now we are going to... I just need to fly. Um, UKBI. What we need to do is get pushed back and get going because the... Uh... Yeah, 
Neofly tells us we have to launch by 20 after, and it's already 20 after. How much space we have. I don't see anybody coming to give us our pushback. Ah, uh, it's just an invisible pushback. We're going to, for brevity's sake, um, we are going to UKBI. KBIK, no. Okay. Autopini Airport Information Alpha Zero Niner Zero Zero Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility four. Altimeter three zero eighteen. Why we're not getting any taxi options now? I'm here. Taxi for takeoff options. Taxi for takeoff options. Lord. So we're not getting any taxi options now. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we got no runway assigned to us now and we're stuck again. Well, in a case like this where you find yourself in a similar situation to me, go ahead and escape, go back to the main menu and you can you should be able to set this whole thing up now. From the from the main menu, it's not ideal. I mean, you want to be able to keep yourself immersed in what you're doing. But I don't know why the air traffic control is not working and didn't and won't assign us a runway. Okay, so we are at dun, 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 dun. LBKA. Okay, we're at 
Okay, so I screwed up a couple of things, and I think I may... I don't think it contributed to what's going on on Microsoft, but we didn't move our pilot. Always something with Neofly. Let's come back in here. So it still sees us where we landed yesterday. And we need it to get us to LROP. LROP. Okay, so click here. Move the pilot to LROP. $1,736. That's a deal. All right. All right, so now at least Neofly sees us in the right place. Our OP, and we're going to blow out my freelance. I hope not. I think it did. It did. Oh man, it's always something. It shouldn't have blown out the freelance job. And now it sees us someplace completely different. LROP. Doesn't see us in the right place at all. It sees us down in Africa. All right, let's try to just do this then. We'll set it as departure from LROP. Okay, now it sees us as LROP. Something. This one's taking us back up to Ukraine again. UKSM. All right, we'll just take it. Hey, pilot. Uh, is ready and waiting. You know what to do. I should have. I should have checked to see if there was an actual runway there. Sometimes there isn't. Now I'm not getting any. Pilot from dispatch. The cargo door is open and the cargo is being transferred. I hope that's a long enough runway. Probably thought of that. Oh, that's going to be super short. He gads. All right, well, we'll try to make it work. Okay, UKSM. Try this again. Transporter. Cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Okay. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. U K S M. Two. Air flight plan. Looks like it's going in the right direction. Yes. That matches up 357. All right. We should be good to go. Mm, let me dial in. The mountains aren't really too tall around here. 
We better get set up for like mm, 10,000 at least. There's, well, there's 17. Leave it at that. I think there's anything else we need to mess with here. I do because it's such a short runway. I want to set the brakes. It's like they're already on. Set to max. Okay, here we go. Yeah. And I'll be back in the chat room in just a second. Let me get airborne and get through all of this. So this airport here, according to the history lesson yesterday, this is the home place of the very first prototype. Wow. Very first prototype for a jet engine. Transporter, good flight. Let me get our gear up. Flaps. Supposed to be doing less than 250 under 10,000. There we go. All right. That should, we should be safe there. All right. Autopilot. Take our altitude. Check again our All right, it's turning around. Make sure it's in an auto throttle position. There, we're in auto throttle. Three zero one eight. How are we over speeding? And we're plummeting. What the hell is wrong? What is going wrong with the aircraft? it again autopilot we're in auto throttle climb all right it's holding the speed never trust an autopilot Man, these are one eight. She seems to have found herself where I didn't press the autopilot right. I don't know. Uh, always something. We just need to monitor that she'll climb. Good, she's climbing. Okay, good. Request uh, IFR clearance for instrument flight plan. Very nice. At least that's working right. Okay, yeah... All right, that's cool. Uh, Henning's got a lot to do today. He's a little bit stressed. Okay. They want us at nine. All right, well, we'll... Damn, we're tipped over. And the gear didn't come up. Goodbye. Bucharest Center Kinius 2-1 is at 6,700. 
900 feet, climbing 9,000 feet. And we're over speeding again. And it looks like she's plummeting again. The, my my throttle's not even full. And we're plummeting. Running off the autopilot, trying to level her out. All right, folks, what's up with the A320? And as you can see, that is, that is where it should be. All right, let's try it again. on auto throttle again keep an eye on it so she's climbing to 9,000 The flaps are up. Flaps are all the way up. We're in auto throttle. Okay, auto throttle seems to be managing the speed right. <clears throat> she's slowing down. <clears throat> See if she'll level us out and get us back to 9,000. Okay, she's trying to. Got us sideways. Turning super aggressively. My lord. It's like now she's lost nav. It's like she's spinning in circles. We'll keep an eye on it. Let's see. But it's like she's lost nav now. So put in another Bucharest Center Kinias two one would like to change destination to uniform Kilo Sierra Mike. Kinias two one is clear to uniform Kilo Sierra Mike Airport is filed. Squad three three five three. So I'd like to stuck another waypoint in there. One clear to uniform Kilo Sierra Mike Airport as filed. See if she'll go. Now she's turning again. Wow, folks. Wow. Turn left heading zero tree zero. Proceed on course climb and maintain eleven thousand feet. Kinias two one.
I don't know why she won't she won't take it. Uh, let's turn off autopilot. Turn it on again. You shouldn't be spinning, that's for sure. And we're plummeting back to the ground. It's not holding altitude. Well, let's try it. Wow. Yeah, we're trying to get there. The plane today, like everything else, doesn't want to work. See if she can make it on this turn. Come on, baby. Go. Go, go, go. Level out. Level out. Now we're over speeding again. Wow. And now we're over speeding. Folks, I don't know. I don't I honestly don't know. At this point the pilot would go, F it, and he would go back to land and he would change out for plane. He would he would change out his plane. Wow. Otapini Tower Kinias two one ready at runway zero eight left departing straight out. Kinias two one one one. And so we have a now we have another bug. Whenever I come in here, the uh, dang air traffic control screen is up, and I don't know why it's doing that either. Microsoft, what's going on with you folks? Is it, I don't think it's me. I really don't. I, I you know I'll take the blame if it's my own fault. Fine, fine, fine. If it's me, fine. Altimeter's right. That's right. Let's just go ahead and now that we're here, let's just go ahead and set up a flight plan right then. Uh, we're in LRLP. And we're going to put a forward slash in there. UKSM. Okay, return. All right. All right. At L R O P, let's set up a no. At UKSM, set up an arrival. I don't have any stars. Can't set up a runway. Okay. 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 Let's try this again. Okay, let's rotate. Gear up. Flaps. Over speed. Over speed. 
autopilot, auto throttle. Let's go to nine thousand. Two one frequency change. Approach Kinias two one is type Airbus A twenty N three miles northeast of Motopini, two thousand six hundred feet. Request flight following. Okay, it looks like it wants to get onto the flight path. Climbing to nine, maintaining proper speed. Couldn't tell you. Seems like everything's fine now. Lovely out. At nine. No, I don't. <laughs> honestly don't think there was anything different uh, the first time around as to this time. I, I don't know, folks. Don't know, don't know. But what I do know is everything's fine now. If you have an opportunity, and well, you have, I mean, it's a simulator, you have all the opportunity in the world. Um, I really recommend learning how to fly this thing, not that you ever really would, but from VOR to VOR, like using old school navigation, you can do that with the A320neo. You can set up uh, VOR and do your radios in here on the radio nav page, and you can set up your VOR, and you can set up core settings and all that. And on the console, you can set your uh, your proper screens to do VOR flying, and that's a lot of fun if you like flying manually. So when I first started the show today, I mentioned that Microsoft Official is doing a Tube Liner Tuesdays, and they're going to start that up again next Tuesday. And so on Tuesdays, I'm thinking about joining them, the, the the live stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and doing airliner flying. And that will keep us, give us a day to, that we're always concentrating on airliners.
We want to see where we're at in the world. And that's us. I zoom out. The little circles are where we've come from. And it shows where we're headed. But now it shows us turning. Please tell me we're not off our flight plan. She broke, she broke the flight plan. Look what's happening, folks. The plane has decided to break again. We've lost navigation. Turn off autopilot, turn it back on. But we've lost, we've, we've lost navigation. And the plane is spinning circles again. So I'm manually now trying to get just get her back on course. Uh, and I have no idea what's going on. Jostle my joystick? No, we're still in the auto throttle. That should be fine. Now we're going too slow. I turn on autopilot again. Holy moly, folks. Messing with any of the controls that I mess with shouldn't have caused any problem whatsoever. So switching over to the nav screen to show you the radio screen, that shouldn't have caused any disruption whatsoever. Messing with any of these switches should have done nothing. Should have changed nothing. Dr. Doom, I tell you, screwing with the plane. This says the parking brake is still on. Which still shouldn't have caused any problem. plane
Hmm. I'm going to try to fly. Uh, I got a manual core setting in of 39. Bring that down to 31. Uh, 35. Guess at 240. We can do a manual speed change. Three hundred and six. All right, we can go to 340 without any problems. Let's bump that up. Hear about the planes this week that got caught in a in a jet stream and they ended up doing 800 knots, well basically 800 miles an hour approximately. These planes were having such strong winds behind them they arrived one hour early at their destination i saw like 30 seconds of a flight video from possibly from the cabin it looked like everybody's bouncing around but a community note said that was from a different flight i'm not really sure either way they had super strong winds at their rear end just pushing the plane super fast Looks like we're already getting to our decel point. So that was, uh, we didn't really need to do that, but I wanted to check it if that was working. So I'm going to put it back to auto throttle and put the core setting back onto auto. Your squawk is down here in the lower corner, right there. Okay, 7,000 feet. Roger, roger.
It says we're delivering coffee to a war-torn area in Ukraine. Well, it didn't say that part, but it just says we're delivering coffee. I really like the way it on uh, the playback that I'm watching. The way it makes the ground textures shimmer. What up? You should have to be watching it at a larger screen rate, but anyway, it looks all right, I guess. Okay. Man, you can't even make any jokes anymore these days. Um, everything's too politically correct. And you you can't use slang and derogatory slang on, um, you know, like, for example, back in the day, <clears throat> right, uh, Chinese, you know, people, people used to call them chinks, right? And all of a sudden it became like the n-word like you couldn't say you couldn't call somebody a chink anymore and um you know we just lost all sense of humor so where am i going with that so i started watching warrior <clears throat> on netflix last night right and it's uh like i don't know turn of the century san francisco uh chinese gangs versus irish gangs versus politicians versus you know just whatever but it really focuses on chinese gangs and this one chinese gang walks around and they're all dressed up in suits with their nice little scarves hanging out of their breast pocket and everything and it reminds me of exactly like 
what was it pinky pinky blinders right so pinky blinders it's the exact same thing the same shots them all walking down the streets looking all dapper in their suits So they're like, what's warrior? I'm like, well, it's, it's tinky blinders. That name probably didn't go over well with the marketing department and the creators and everybody else. They found no humor in that. I'm sure. It's a good show. Hey, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm I'm definitely not insulting. It's very well done. It's a great production. Good stories, good action sequences. Uh just like Pinky Blinders. No new updates from air traffic control. We're good probably till D cell. We obviously haven't crossed over any particular landmarks of importance. Push talk radio hasn't kicked in.
Jesus, this world, man. Every news clip I'm reading today just is wow. Just crazy. Where are we at? Still not at our diesel point. I guess I could have left us close.
They're doing a moon landing? A moon landing? Really? How come we've heard, heard nothing about it? I was commenting yesterday as we were flying around uh, and, and getting all the audio tours and them talking about how the communists came in and took control over everything, seized all these buildings, and eventually gave them back, had to give them back to the people that they took the stuff from. But then the, they had screwed up the economy so bad that the people that originally owned the stuff couldn't afford it anymore, and they had to sell them. And Mark Levin today is saying, Letitia Dan is exactly saying the same thing I said yesterday. Letitia James is a Marxist lowlife, seizing Trump's private property like a totalitarian thug. That is exactly what's going on. That's exactly what it reminded me of. It's sick what's going on in our country. It's sick. But it's, you know, again, so many people have told us what was coming for so long. They have tried to warn us for decades. Decades. Because they know the long game, you know, how the long game is played. And they have tried to warn us for so long about what was going to happen. And we didn't listen. What city did we just pass over? Moldova. Pretty big. That looks like old ancient walled city. All those buildings have giant walls around them.
now I'm remembering why I do most of my uh, airline flying at night. It is really, uh, there's not a whole lot to it. I mean, once you're up in the air, it's just monitoring everything. Uh, very strange how today started with all the problems that we were having. And the autopilot not working or wanting to stay engaged and shutting off on us. And what a, what a weird series of events today was at the start. Everything's been fine for the last half hour. But how odd. Do 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 do.
good day. One two zero decimal niner, Kinney S two one. Goodbye. Odessa Center, Kinney S two one seven thousand feet. Kinney S two one Odessa Center altimeter three zero decimal one five radar contact continue. So now another massive protest has broke out with farmers in Athens, Greece. They can't take it either. One hundred and thirty thousand people voted illegally in Nevada. They still have not given us a runway. You know how you get road hypnotized from driving? When everything looks the same, I get... Airline hypnot air airplane hypnotized hypnotized <laughs> Yeah So again, on Tuesdays, Microsoft Official has announced that they'll be resuming Tube Liner Tuesday flights and their live stream on Twitch next Tuesday. And uh, it just so happens that I wanted to fly the A320 today on this Tuesday. So probably starting on Tuesdays now, I'm going to be joining their live stream. for airliner flights so we can stay in practice you don't use it you lose it i haven't done an airliner landing in in a while i'm a little bit nervous
I'm really surprised this whole flight, it has kept us at 250 knots. I really should have just left the engines open. Yeah, so funny. Yesterday I was commenting on how the communists uh, historically, you know, when they go in, the way they, they take things from people. And everything that I said yesterday is being repeated today on Twitter on communist tactics. Everybody's saying this is straight out of Russia. It is Marxist communist tax tactics. Monica Crowley. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors visual runway two six approach. Kinias two one. Okay, we got vectors to runway two six. Uh, I don't think this thing had anything for us. Set up for an arrival. Like a runway. But we do have a runway now. Uh, Monica Crowley, New York communist uh, AG Letitia James is prepared to seize Trump's private property because that's what communists do. Understand what's actually going on. Yeah, it's it's just, that's just the way that they have operated throughout history. We're seeing the same things happen as that have all throughout this region. These people that we're flying around right now, they've all experienced this. All their crap at one point has been taken away from them, usually. All these buildings that we uh, learned about yesterday, they were all taken in, by communists, and then um, who then destroyed economies, and then when they were told to give the properties back, nobody could afford their properties anymore, and they had to sell it. You know, ancient, ancient castles and stuff. People that have, people have had in their families forever. The communists come in and they're like, wow, this will make great offices for us. Oh, yes. Perfect. Let us live in these palaces and castles, and that's how they operate. I think what's most telling about all this, and it's been established law for a long time, and I don't know how they got away with it, is that, you know, it's been established for a long time that the state can't claim injured party. The state is a non-entity, folks. All right? The state doesn't exist. It's not a person. When criminal charges are filed against somebody, it has to be a person versus a person. So historically, the state has never, ever been allowed to claim injured party. And that's what's going on right now. The state came in, and despite all the people that they brought in to uh, testify against them, nobody testified against them. All the bankers that he brought in, nobody claimed fraud. He paid all the loans back. But yet the state determined... That's what I mean. It's communist. Everybody's like, hey, well, if you don't pay your loans back, people will repossess your property and this and that and this. That's, they're missing the point. 
folks. The state is a non-entity. The state is not allowed to claim injured party. So they managed to, like, change laws so that they could do this specifically to go after ex-president Trump. And no, again, no citizen. This So they've decided to conspire against him and find him guilty, and now they want to seize his assets. And it was already, you know, just uh, just the uh, what they wanted him to pay. The restitution is just outrageous in itself. So, you know, it's pretty, it, it seems pretty obvious when people are saying, well, they're, they're, it's all, this is all a plan to just break him, break him, break him. Do everything you can to break him and stop him from uh, be becoming president again. And, well, how do you see it any other way? I mean, if you don't like him, I get it. That's fine. I get it. But you, you know, what if somebody were to do that to you? What if the state was to turn on you like that? And I know people are just so out there on Twitter. They're just so happy. Ha ha ha. He's got to pay. Ha ha ha. And that's pretty sick. Because just as citizens, we should all be just what? What? What happened to state can't claim injured party? State is a non-entity. What? That's what we should be talking about. These are communist tactics. Based on all the evidence, this is a massive conspiracy. It's really, really sad. Again, don't don't cry one of these days. This could happen to you. I wouldn't I mean that's what I mean. I wouldn't be cheering today. If you don't like the guy, I get it. But you shouldn't be cheering for this. This should be a red flag to everybody. A huge red flag. This should everybody should be aware that of what's going on. Whether you like him or not. And you should be saying, hey, you know, this this shit's gotta stop. This has got to stop. People are playing games now with uh with with their power you know just what country is this it's sad it's so much of the same crap when i was watching that i was referring to that show earlier on uh, netflix called uh warrior and it's uh like late 1900s san francisco and you know man it's the same crap politicians back then are the same schmucks that they are today and they're causing the same problems and civil unrest and creating chaos so that they can uh, get into power. And it, it's, it's never stopped. And now it's just way out of control. The World uh, Economic Forum or the, uh, those people, they've decided that we can't drink coffee anymore. They're saying we get to have, they want us to have two to four cups a year. That's it. A year. Two to four cups of coffee a year. Who are these people? Be there yet? Damn. We're finally at the decel point. The long stretch.
This will definitely be more fun on starting next Tuesday when there's, you know, 50 or more planes in the air. It's fun when you do those live streams with the uh, Microsoft official people. They do them on Fridays, too, and I haven't been doing them. Remington, the arms manufacturer, they're leaving New York for Georgia after 200 years. They see the writing on the wall. All right, finally at our decel point. Long way to go for four thousand dollars. So again, when you do Neo Fly freelance jobs, you get to fly whatever plane you want, whatever you're feeling that day. But they assume or they're saying that when you're doing freelance, you don't own the plane, you're not renting the plane, you're just being hired to fly it. So you're not gonna make a lot of money. Normally this would be like a thirty, forty thousand that eh, thirty thousand dollar job but the cost of planes in neofly unless you get the pilots and other things you're never going to make the kind of money it's going to take you forever and by the time you know i mean you'll never make the kind of money you need to make to own an airliner right don't even think you'll be able to make the kind of money to rent one in neofly they make it really impossible to make money and if you uh you know paying for your fuel and they try to make it realistic which is fine but again the economy is so out of whack i mean it, even in the game the, you can't afford anything so the only way you're gonna get to fly airliners and neo flies by doing this kind of stuff 
Yeah, unless you want to get the uh, pilots. I mean, I was able to make nine million, ten million, when I had all the pilots. But I'm not inclined to buy the package to get the pilots. I thought they would give that to you for free, and uh, I'm not inclined to pay them more money. Uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 just around the corner. So no, thank you. I enjoy your product. I don't enjoy it that much. I don't like their uh, community leaders. I don't like their customer service. Um, so, nah. Great. Just when we're getting to our airport, we're getting zero visibility down to the ground. <laughs> There's the engine slowing down, hitting the decel point. So that's the 40 range, 40 mile range scale. About 40 miles to the airport. Good. Hopefully we come out of it and it doesn't stay thick like that all the way there. Good. We're gonna have to land it manual. I can't. There's no ILS runway here. It's a super short runway. I have the brakes on maximum. Oh, I did. Put the brakes back to max. Not getting the light indicator over there.
Tucson Airport is at your 12 o'clock, 16 miles. Descend and maintain 2,600 feet. Report runway in sight. Kinius 21 has the runway in sight. 2,600 feet. You are 15 miles southwest of Uniform Kilo Sierra Mike. Turn right heading 040, descend and maintain 2,600 feet. 040. Turn right heading 040, descend and maintain 2,600 feet. Kinius 21. 040. Sierra Mike traffic Kinias 2114 miles southwest inbound visual runway 26. Uniform Kilo Sierra Mike traffic Kinias 21 is on final runway 26 to land. Say that I see it. Only two six should be. That's it there, maybe? That would be 2-6. Okay.
Actually, before I do that, double check. Yeah, UKSM. Okay. One thousand. Oh, now we get, now we get our, uh, That's pretty close to the center line, pilot. Nice job. Taxi to parking, please. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Got the reverse thrust kicked in the last minute. Spoilers up. Where the hell the airport is at? Yeah, this is definitely not an airport 
I think you're supposed to land one of these planes at. But what the hell? Okay, we're clear. So, all we should have to do is just shut off the engines. Transporter. Cargo unloading in progress. Stand by, pilot. Alright, so we're getting paid. Mission accomplished. It wasn't pretty. But we're here and we got down to the ground and we're safe. Transporter from dispatch. Cargo unloaded and checked. It is always a pleasure to work with you. All right, so we got paid. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, again, we got a little bit of Airbus practice in today, and next Tuesday we'll keep going on with the... Uh, see about hooking up with Microsoft and the official group on Twitch. Do, 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 do. So th thank you for tuning in. Today was an awful lot of fun. 3.14 in the afternoon here. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. I'm not sure what I got planned yet. Probably going back to DCS World tomorrow. Continuing our um, our DCS training. And so, um, bombs and lasers and all kinds of fun stuff. Way more exciting than today. But I needed a break from all the action. That sounds weird, doesn't it? But I mean, I kind of wanted something a little, a little slower after just grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. So, thank you for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. If you need a subscriber, please... Uh, always make sure you jump into the chat room and say hi. It makes it really easy for me to just click your name and click go to channel and hit subscribe. I really desperately need, I don't know what's going on with YouTube um, and, their, uh, and their ad revenue, but it's chopped my ad revenue basically down to nothing now. So I guess I'm going to be begging for some more uh, likes and subscribe. So please help me out. Hit like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. All right, I will see you tomorrow.